Hello and welcome to this week's video snow report from the Port de Soleil on a very balmy day. It's only minus four today. Now that might seem like a very low temperature, but this week and since last weekend, we've had temperatures of between minus 14 to minus 19 during the days. And on some of the more open and higher slopes, when the wind picks up, it has been bitterly cold. Now, to be honest, this is one of these things that happens every year and we should really be expecting it. It's February, we're a mile above sea level, it's the Alps. Of course, it's gonna be cold. And in fact, this time last year, when it was warm and we had barbecue weather, all the snow was melting. So to be honest, I will take the cold weather any day. Now looking forward in the forecast, it looks like the cold weather is set to return. Although it has got very mild today, the cold weather is gonna come back in and the weather for the next four or five days at least is gonna be like this, clear skies with nice low temperatures. Now, as I said, on the higher and more open slopes, there was some wind and the very low temperatures and that wind has meant that the exposed slopes in the off-piste have been quite badly wind affected. And if you're looking to do any of the sort of major off-piste routes that are um, well known to people, you will find them quite badly scoured. We went up and did Valley de la Manche a couple of days ago and it wasn't in very good condition. However, today we dropped off the backside of satellite and uh, in the lower, more sheltered runs, especially um, out of the sun, the snow is still in pretty good condition and we found some nice little turns to be had in there. So if you're heading into the off-piste and at the moment the avalanche hazard rating is only two out of five definitely lower uh, more sheltered slopes preferably in the trees if you can find them you're more likely to find good snow in there on piece however conditions are absolutely perfect 98 percent of the runs in avoria are open with only one minor closure and that's the run at the top of mazettes which is not even really a piece run anyway it's part of their snow cross uh, program which means that it's kind of an off piece route that is kept secure and in the whole of the port de soleil we've got 241 out of 247 pieces open and they are in excellent condition the snow is nicely pieced down and groomed and today as it's got a little bit warmer it's just become that little bit more grippy but even when we've had the very low temperature temperatures, the snow and the pistes have been fantastic. Now looking forward, we have got the French holidays starting this weekend and they're going to run from the 11th all the way through to the 11th of next month. Now this does mean that we're entering peak season and obviously things are going to get a lot busier. At the moment, the pistes are very, very quiet and there's almost no queues for the lifts. This is set to change, but there are plenty of ways you can avoid the big queues and I'll be giving you tips throughout the holiday season on how to do that. But to start off with, a couple of things you can look out for is A, the Port de Soleil is one of the biggest ski areas in the world. So if the Linderay Bowl is getting very congested, just head over somewhere else. And as I've been saying for the last couple of weeks, Châtel and Torgon are absolutely brilliant for skiing and there's almost no, never anyone there. And another thing to look out for is perhaps to ski a little bit later through the day. Maybe if you ski through the lunchtime period, when most people stop for lunch, you'll find that the pieces do quieten down. So I, at this time of year, I like to take a slightly later start to the day, ski through lunch, and then get a bit of a snack when I come off the hill. But at the moment, conditions are immense on piste and we've got beautiful clear blue skies and more sun forecasts so even if there are lots of people we're still going to have great weather and fantastic skiing on piste. Take care, thanks for watching, I will see you next week when I bring you more news from a slightly busier Port de Soleil.